Okay, so in this unit, we're going to look at a couple of quick topics and we'll wrap up where I'm going to talk about some of the next steps you can take from here. So we'll start with some of the inbuilt objects for JavaScript. So JavaScript language comes with some inbuilt objects out of the box. Uh, the first object, we already looked at this, arrays. Arrays are objects, right? Under the hood, every array is actually a JavaScript object. Now we looked at the length property of an array and we said that JavaScript kind of maintains that length property. It always keeps it up to date with whatever is the, the greatest index plus one. Uh, JavaScript also has a few methods that come out of the box with arrays. Now that we've looked at functions and we understood how functions can be a part of an object, you can look at this and kind of get an idea of how these functions work with, with the array object. So some of the functions that we typically use with arrays are, uh, you know, push is a common function. So when you want to add an element to an array, you can use the push function that comes with the array. Every time you use an array, the array object comes with this push function out of the box. The push function takes an argument and then adds that argument as an element of the array at the last location. So let's say I have a my array uh, variable, which points to an array, and let's say it has five uh, five elements, right? When you do a my array dot push of 500, it's gonna add a sixth element to that array at the last position, and it's gonna add the value 500 to it, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna append it. Uh, there's also the pop, which takes that last element out from the array. And uh, we have a couple more, shift and unshift, which are the equivalents of push and pop on the front, right? Adding and removing elements from the front of the array. Let me quickly demonstrate this with an example. Now let's say I have an array, where my array is 10, 20, and an empty object, a mixture of values. Now I can add, actually let me do this in the console, that's easier. All right, now I can add an element to the array by using the push method. So I can say my array dot push, and I push the value 10, all right? Now notice what happens, the push method returns the updated length of the array. Now, if I were to print my array, I would get that value 10 added to it. But if I were to remove it, I can use the pop method. So my array dot pop is going to remove it and it's going to return the value that it removed. Now, if I were to access my array again, it's gone. I do my array dot pop, I get back the object and I access my array again, that object is gone. I can also do use shift and unshift to work at the front of the array. So I can do a my array dot shift. Takes that first element out, which is 10. Now that element is gone, runs 20 and hello. I can also do my array dot unshift. Now, sorry about that. It's or small letter, it's not S caps. If I were to do an unshift and print my array again, you notice that that's added to the front of the array and it pushes, kind of pushes every other element to the side. So these are some common uh, functions available in arrays. Uh, 